So, I'm going to be talking about some stretches that you can do for your wrists. Now, a lot of times when people think about stretching one body part, they don't think about the impact that it has on all the other ones. So, we're going to go through and we're going to be pretty descriptive on how to do this. Keep in mind, we're going to be doing them kneeling. You can also do these against a wall standing. All the same things apply. Um, the spinal alignment, the shoulders, the elbows, the neck, everything applies. It's just that you can do it against a wall. For those of you um, at a desk, you can use the desk edge. Um, the kitchen, use the counter edge. So you don't have to be in a four point kneeling position to do these, okay? So we're gonna start. And so I oftentimes get lots of complaints from people regarding wrists, especially nowadays because of everybody working from home. So, I want you to take the hems, okay, and you're going to spread them out, and middle finger facing forward, and I want you to really stretch the fingers out and press them down. Okay, good. From here, I want you just to really try to push the pinky, the entire pinky, the root knuckle, two, three, and tip down, and then the ring finger, middle finger, index finger, and thumb. And when you do this, I want you to feel that you're not slouching and letting your shoulders come up. I want you to come up and feel yourself pressing the shoulders away from each other. Soften the belly up into the spine. Make sure you're not sinking out into your back. So feel yourself softly pulling up and utilizing the core, okay? You don't want to be sinking back because that's jamming your shoulder socket. Don't do that, okay? So shake out the neck. Keep the chin tucked slightly. Don't be looking up. Okay, so the first one thing we're going to do is we're going to sit back. So if you can't sit back far, you can tuck the toes or you can also just stretch the hands. I want you to press the hands down, let the elbows fall down and pull. So in between each of these stretches, we're going to be doing this. And this is, you're going to feel this, the wrist almost sort of get tired a bit. So we're stretching them out by connecting the whole hand down and doing a little pull. You're getting space, but you're also getting the whole wrist to activate in a nice neutral position, okay? So back up you go. If this is too hard on your wrist, you can put something under the hands to boost you up. Like I said, you can also do this at a wall. So if you were at a wall, you'd be like this, okay? Not on your knees, obviously. You can stand into it, but make sure the shoulders are wide and make sure you relax. So even standing, we grip into our back. So just sort of gives the hips a little wiggle, okay? So, ready? So what we're gonna do, you're gonna take the hands and you're gonna turn them around. Now's when you get to discover how creepy your elbows look. So, <laughs> so when we turn around, I want your middle finger to face you. I want you to try to get the entire palm down, okay? Shoulders wide. We have a tendency to grip and come up and lose our necks. Don't do that. Pull the ribs up. You can even step back a little bit with the knees. Okay, if you're doing this against the wall, make sure that your arms aren't up too high. Okay, good. Now, you want to make sure that the heel of the hand is able to get down, and you're going to slowly start to sit back. So you can tuck the toes so you have more control, and you can slowly start to come back. Okay, good. Shoulders wide, jaws relaxed. Draw the belly. Don't pop the bum out. Okay, so just shake it out and relax and stretch and stretch and stretch. Don't let the hand come up. You can a little to get a stretch through the palm, but it's not about that, okay? You should feel a stretch in the wrist. You might feel burning, right? And you want to just make sure that everything is aligned properly. If you're hyperflexible in the elbows, you're gonna, you could look pretty weird. You won't notice, but that's okay. So if you're doing this with family members, don't judge, okay? Don't make fun because it's just their body. Okay, good. And now we're gonna come up. Hands down, just like I said, and press the hands down and pull. Shoulders wide again. So every movement we do, even when we're stretching, we have to think about what we're doing to the rest of the body. This is where a lot of professions fail because you go to them with um, shoulder pain and they look at your shoulder and they don't pay attention to anything else that's going on in the body. That's the benefit of having a properly trained Pilates professional is we balance bodies. We look at patterning, we look at movement, right? If something's tight, usually we know how to release it. So you always wanna check for those credentials, 
Okay, guys? So now we're going to flip the hands over. I know, right? Oh. So, stretching the other side. So see if you can touch the thumb. See if you can touch the pinky. Shoulders wide. Elbows soft. Make sure you haven't taken the hands right together because that's going to jam. Okay, good. And from here, right, you need to move back a little. That's fine. And you're going to slowly pull in. Now you might feel a huge pull coming through the forearms. That's okay. Shoulders wide, right? Don't sink down. Pull up. Draw the belly. Let the head go. Relax. Breathe. So don't go where you have pain pain. Okay, guys? And again, if having the weight, so you're actually taking the weight into the legs and into the core by doing it like this. You're not leaning a ton of weight into the arms. You're just trying to get a nice stretch. Nice big breaths. Good. And let's come back and flip them down. Good. Grip the mat and pull back in. Nice deep breaths. And slowly come up. Good. Give them a little shake. Good. Get those fingers moving, right? See if you can touch the thumb to all the fingers. Just get them moving appropriately. Good. You might give a little stretch this way and a little shake. And hopefully you feel a lot lighter through the bottom part of your arms. So this is great for if you have tinnitus, carpal tunnel, do your stretches. Okay? Even if you've been at the desk, computer a lot, keyboarding, typing a lot, do your stretches. Just make sure when you're stretching your wrists, you think about what else is going on in the rest of the body. Okay, guys, have a wonderful day, and may your wrists be happy.